Hi everyone. What you're uh, looking at is a uh, 10 ohm resistor uh, submerged in water and uh, boiling now basically at this point. And uh, that is a 10 ohm 1% uh, 50 watt resistor in the water. And uh, it's connected in series with another uh, 5 ohm 1% uh, uh, resistor. So basically it is a load uh, on the uh, circuit of the 15 ohms and there is a total of 36.55 uh, uh, volts uh, uh, DC across that, uh, that, those, uh, that 15 ohm load. So we have a total there of about uh, 90 watts happening. And that's been operating now for about an hour, and uh, the stable, the voltage is quite uh, stable at this point. Um, these are the batteries that I'm uh, using here that I'm actually recharging with the circuit. And this is a 5 amp hour battery here, 12 volt, and this is a, uh, uh, I think this one here is a 12 amp hour battery somewhere around that range and uh, this is just a car starting battery so I was just grabbing batteries that I had around and uh, this one's here uh, has only about half its capacity left it only charges to about 12.4 volts and uh, it's sitting somewhere around 12.3 volts this is sitting around 12.28 volts and this is sitting around somewhere around 12.2 uh, uh, volts and uh, I think what's the, there's something interesting happening with these lead acid batteries here and I don't uh, quite understand uh, the thing, but it seems like if the larger the capacity of the battery is, it seems to be able to maintain the operation of the circuit. Kind of strange, but uh, uh, that needs to be checked. And uh, I've, I've got all these little, um, these are five amp hour um, lithium ion 3.7 uh, volt uh, batteries that I have for a electric uh, bicycle that I'm uh, actually going to build but anyways so I've got a whole bunch of these quite amazing 3.7 uh, uh, volts at uh, 5 amp hour uh, each one of these cell and what I did is I've uh, duct taped a whole bunch of them basically 10 of them to give me my, uh, to give a total of like, it was about 38 volts uh, DC, all of them in series there. And I tested it with that, I tested the circuit with that, and a, it maintained for a while, maybe about 20 minutes, and then, or maybe not that much, maybe 15 minutes, and then suddenly it really started declining. And that was kind of strange. And then I went back to the uh, lead acid batteries, and they seem to be much, much more stable. And um, so here I can take a reading here. This is my, see my, this is the small one here, the 12 volt one. It's exactly a 12 volt. Basically, it has no capacity left when it reaches 12 volts. So uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I just don't know too much what's going on. This one's at 12.28, like I said. So this one's been at that 12.28 for um, for at least uh, uh, half hour, if not more. And the uh, large one here is, uh, is at 12.3 still. So it, it hardly moves at all. So the one that would be losing uh, voltage is the um, is this small one here. So basically, I've got my uh, voltmeter across the series uh, set here of batteries, and that's what it's now displaying. Because this one is kind of like dropping uh, a little bit continuously, and um, I don't quite know why. Uh, probably because of something about the capacity. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the circuit is operating off of the grid and I've got 120 volts uh, one side of the grid here coming in to the uh, voltage probe, channel 1, 
going in series in a total of 25 microfarad of uh, capacitance there. And those are all connected in parallel to give me a total of 25 microfarad. They're 5 microfarad each. And uh, it's in series now, so we have a total of 25 microfarad there. And the leg uh, out of the series capacitor is going into a full wave bridge rectifier, which I have um, super glued to a, a transformer core just to keep the uh, bridge uh, cool. And uh, the other leg, the other AC leg of the bridge rectifier is going back to my uh, shunt resistor, which is a uh, 0.1 ohm, 5% uh, resistor. And I have my channel 2 probe uh, hooked up on that. So this is the circuit uh, side to the uh, full wave bridge, which is in series as well, the AC legs. And then the DC legs are going to the battery set here. <coughs> and um, the uh, other end, we have our uh, two uh, ground uh, probe grounds here. And uh, that probe is set to times one. And uh, I can zoom into that. You can see that very clearly. Set to times one. And that's a hundred times uh, probe there. There is no uh, setting other than that. It just stays at a hundred times. And there's our battery voltage still uh, very, very close to being the same. And our uh, other leg here of the circuit is going to the other side of the another 120 watt, uh, 20 volt uh, phase on the uh, panel. So we have 120 volts there, 120 volts there. We combine the two, gives us 240 volts uh, potential. And that's what I'm uh, circulating through the um, circuit at this time. And if we now look at the uh, scope uh, data, right now you're looking at the uh, at a single waveform. I'll give you more samples in a second. Um, looking uh, at it, it with the uh, probe uh, inverted. So there's a big debate about inverting the probe, and that's what the uh, results are <coughs> when we have the probe inverted. So the question is about the mass. So our voltage, we seem to have uh, 250 volts. Uh, well, with it expanded this way, it might change when we have more samples, and that's the voltage across our uh, shunt. But keep in mind here that I've added the multiplier of this channel to times 10. So you don't need to multiply this by 10. It's already done by the scope. And there's our math. Our math means seems to have a minus 12. And there's our RMS uh, there as well on the math. And there's a uh, math minimum. And that is uh, all that's uh, happening there. And what I'll do now is I'll just go in the channel 2 menu. Well, let's look at channel 1 menu here. So there's channel 1 AC. Uh, there's all the settings. Probe obviously at 100 times and invert is off. This is uh, channel 2. Uh, there's the settings there. And it is uh, at uh, 10 times, like I said, and invert is on. So now we'll take uh, invert off. So invert is off. And let's go back to our measures. And um, that is now what we have. In this way here, it is saying that we are actually consuming four uh, watts uh, from the grid. And uh, that was the way I was doing it prior. And I don't know, somehow, the uh, debate will go on about how to uh, how to do this correctly in time. So I'll give you I'm giving you more samples now, and we got a whole bunch of samples. So there's the correct uh, voltage there, 249, 2.26 volts across our shunt, and 5.3 uh, watts being consumed. And there's more data on the uh, mass. And now if we go to probe uh, our channel 2 probe and we put uh, invert uh, on and 
invert is on and now we go back to our uh, measures the math is saying we are minus uh, 13 whatever that means I don't know uh, there is all the data with more samples so <clears throat> I don't know what, what, what more to do or say, but uh, there is something going on that is very interesting. And mostly when you add uh, many batteries in series. And uh, there's a user called Hob who has actually shared that. He uh, found that as well in his experiments and he had posted a video about that. And. Um, I think uh, he's definitely pointing that this is the, uh, an interesting uh, circuit to do this with. And if I was just charging one battery, um, I wasn't outputting so much uh, uh, wattage. But it seems that you can keep adding batteries in series and there seems to be an interesting, uh, more desirable effect. So I've got more of these small batteries here and uh, I'll uh, use, uh, I'll get more of those and then put all this thing together and see what happens. But somehow I'm getting a feeling that the uh, capacity of the battery has something to play with. And um, unfortunately these lithium ions uh, are not uh, cutting it with maintaining uh, a really stable voltage like this is. So as you see it's, it's you know, it's hardly dropping. And the one that is dropping is uh, this one here. So I think it has something to do about its capacity. So if we look now at its voltage, it's 11.97. And that's the only one that's been dropping. And if we go back to our next battery here. <coughs> well, it's dropped one little fraction. So it's at 12.27. And then this one here should probably still be at uh, yeah, 12.3. So that's kind of interesting to, well, I'll leave that there, to uh, note <coughs> that possibly a uh, larger capacity battery would have a better effect uh, with uh, maintaining a charge uh, when it's under load. And uh, that's, uh, that needs more experimenting and testing. And uh, I think that's all I have to uh, share for now. And I hope people can uh, replicate this effect. Basically, it's very, very basic. <laughs> There's no uh, complications to it. And most of you would have these components. So please go ahead and uh, replicate and uh, post your... Uh, your results. All the best and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now. Oh yeah, I uh, nearly forgot. Maybe a good uh, test as well here to, uh, some might say, well you're just, you know, using the energy in the batteries, you're not really charging them. Uh, let me just pull the plug uh, here on the uh, power and you'll see how fast the uh, voltage is dropping on those batteries. So it's uh, obviously uh, not uh, the uh, batteries that is supplying the uh, voltage to the source because uh, now they are dropping like a huge amount uh, very rapidly. So what the circuit is doing is uh, it is maintaining the voltage, uh, the charge on the batteries, and there it's plugged back in, and now it's uh, climbing back up. So I think this is uh, what is uh, important to, to note here. And uh, obviously these uh, small batteries here can't uh, maintain uh, such a high uh, power output, so the circuit is definitely uh, doing something to maintain the uh, charge on the batteries even though it's uh, not uh, consuming uh, that you know certain amount of power on that end 
something is going on here in this end and has to do with this uh, phase uh, shift and there's something desirable there and it seems to work fairly well with uh, batteries. So uh, that's what this is all about and uh, there you go. Bye now.